One of the great advantages of RAW is its extended dynamic range, which gives you more color and more detail. Instead of a JPEG, which only has 8 bits per color component, RAW files have 12 or even 14 bits of color data. A 14-bit image has over 60 times more data per component. That's a staggering amount of information. The problem is that most of that extra data has to be manipulated in an editor to be useful or even visible. That's where apps like RAW Power come in. In this video, I'll show you how to recover shadow detail in RAW images using the tools in RAW Power. In another video, I'll focus on highlight recovery. While the app has some very simple tools that will do a decent job, if you employ some advanced sliders, you'll get much better results. Let's take a look at this raw image right here. So if we look at the histogram, we'll see that there's most of the pixels here are extremely dark. We can actually show the hot and cold pixel overlay either with the histogram buttons or with the view menu. And you can see that almost the entire image is actually black. Even if the areas that look like they have detail are actually a little bit of detail and a lot of black. The first thing I can do is simply increase exposure. And I can do that. But if I look back at the histogram, it's still mostly black. Let's go back to that overlay. Well, I got this foliage back, but these people, they're all black. There's no detail there. And there's no detail really in these rocks. And that's by boosting exposure by three stops. I can try the shadow slider. And that does a better job in some respects. You can see there's less here at the zero area. But things look a little unnatural, I'd have to say, because I've pushed shadows pretty far. Once again, the key is going to be sliders in the raw processing adjustment, because those are the things that affect the decode the most. Specifically, something called the black point. Black point determines the value in the image that should be considered black. Now, you're going to think that black is always zero, but that acts actually set by the camera. It determines what the black point is and what should be considered zero, it's sometimes also called the black floor. In a JPEG, that's fixed. The camera sets it, and that's what the zero value would be in the image. But in a RAW file, it's stored as a piece of metadata, and the RAW decoder will let us change the black floor. That will have a huge impact on our ability to work with severely under, underexposed images. And we don't even need to move the black point very much. I'll start by moving it, and you'll see what happens to the image. Right? Not much is happening, but again, now if you look at this gram, you see there's a big gap here. All of the pixels that were zero have actually moved off of that point. That's actually too much because you do want some black. So we're going to move back to just about 0.8. Now the image may not look very different, but it really is. This is analogous to the boost slider for overexposed images. By moving the black point a little bit, gives us the ability to use our other sliders more effectively. In fact, the first thing we can do is we notice that there's almost nothing here on the right side of the histogram. So the image just needs to be brightened quite a bit. There's a couple ways of doing that. We could move the exposure slider over. That's one idea. Another idea might be to use levels. That brightens the image as well. We can use the lighten slider. We can use the shadow slider. We can use the exposure slider. All of them do different things in the image, and you can play with each one of them to see what kind of look you get. I'm going to start with exposure to move the histogram over to about there, just right at the edge of this histogram light popping up here. See black point is still set to negative 0.8. Okay, now I think some lighten would help. And I think some brightness as well. Now, things are brighter, but they're not as contrasty as I'd like. I can move the contrast slider that. Or I could use something like levels. So that's contrast and that's levels. Can back levels off a little bit by moving these points some. So it's definitely looking better, but it's a little darker than I'd like. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'll try to push maybe shadows a little bit. Brightness a little bit more. And you can adjust the black and the white points and levels to kind of get the look that you're going for. But overall, we have a balanced image. We've got detail in the people and in the rocks. We can see it before and after. Quite a change. The key again was black point. I'm going to turn black point up, just black point, so that you can see the effect that it had on our ability to adjust the image. So that's the image without black point applied, the default black. By applying black point, it makes all of our other sliders that much more effective. That's a quick look at recovering shadow detail in raw images. Thanks for watching.